this is um, 2003 um, Toyota Highlander um, it has only a valley key valley key means this is only a valley key valley key will open uh, the door but it will not open the trunk and it will not open the the glove compartment but it will start the car also you cannot add a key on those car you cannot add a key if you have a valet key but if you have a master key you will be able to add a valet key this is one uh, explanation the second one is you can clone the valet key to another chip using like a tango with cn chip the third thing is that you have to wipe out the whole computer you have to take the engine computer out versionize it and then you're going to put the first key you're going to be master key the second key, the second key will be master key and the third key will be a valet key but now we cut a master key but because we don't want to go through that the only solution is to clone this chip and then it will start the car so you have two uh, valet chip also it's not bad so now the difference between a valet chip and the master chip is like this when you put the key in the ignition there is a security light blinking if you put the key in the ignition the security light will go off right away that means it's a master chip if it is a valid chip as soon as you put the key in the ignition the light is stay on for three seconds one two three and then it will go off about three seconds so just be sure that if you have a valid key you will not be able to add another key programming those key for 2003 to 2005 um, Toyota Highlander and some Toyota Camry, the older one, 4C chip. You must do it manually. Manually by you can like you're gonna put the key in the ignition. Do not turn it on. Push the gas pedal five times, then push the the brake pedal six times, then take the key out, put the new key, push the gas pedal one time. The light will start will start blinking, 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 blinking. Then it will go off. It register for that one in one condition. If you have a master chip. So now in order for you to clone this key, you can have Tango, turn it on, open Tango, and as soon as Tango open, Tango you have to update this original one. Now you go here into transponder type and click on 4C. It will open this one for you. You have to read the key, you see here, E417. Now you're gonna take this key out and then you have to put a, a, a chip with a CN CN uh, CN1. You're gonna write, you can write all this chip CN1, CN2, YS-01, LKP-02, EHS, or TPX1. So I'm gonna write down CN1 and you say okay writing you say okay you write it down you see here now 17 if i say read it reads 17 that's it now you just have to take this key put it in the ignition and you start the car and now you have two keys thank you for watching mobile electronic i'll see you in another video this is muhammad idris please if you like if you like our video click and share and see you in another video thank you